beautifully set up. This is it looks exactly like the kind of conference they have when some police have accidentally shot someone. <laughs> Good, okay, well, the way the show works is we've had a look at uh, the day's newspapers and we will share some lovely stories from them with you. And we've got two fantastic uh, guests joining us today. Would you please give up a huge round of applause for the wonderful Carrie Quinlan and the brilliant Mr. Fred McCauley. Well, let's have a little look. I mean, the big story that's dominated most of the newspapers is that of the 13-year-old um, dad, young Alfie, with his partner... I assume they're still partners. Um, you, you just know that in you know, seven or eight years' time, the baby is going to be knocking on the door going, eh, can Dad come out to play? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the, um, the mum can, uh, when she hits 16, can claim child benefit for both of them. <laughs> Here's um, a little insight into, into backstage on this show, because you two, in the middle there, have had a bet I have What's bet, Andre, bet? that in 16 years' time, young Alfie will not still be with Chantel and baby Maisie and have succeeded without trauma or incident in turning Maisie into a successful young adult. And how much is the bet for? It's £10,000. We are Winthorpe and Winthorpe from Trading Places <laughs> at this stage, although I will also take a 10 grand bet that Andre doesn't live another 16 years. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in. Very good. Fred, uh, um, what have you got? This is my first time in Leicester. Uh, little I know of you is that you're twinned with uh, Alliance. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I do... I, there are a couple of fantastic headlines of the day. Meeting covers range of topics. Ah. <laughs> ah. Yes. I love uh, local papers, you know, as we go around doing this show. They're fantastic, because they're usually a mixture of horrific and brutal crimes, followed by a property section. <laughs> so you get a front couple of pages. Elderly woman beaten to death with hammer. The other one in there. Cottage for sale. <laughs> Recently vacated. <laughs> Walls need cleaning. <laughs> A man who harassed his neighbours for more than four years by repeatedly whistling the theme to the Adams family at them <laughs> has been jailed. <laughs> like that. <laughs> <laughs> After the hearing, Mrs Sharp 66 of Wingerworth near Chesterfield, Derbyshire said, I'm so relieved it has been an absolute nightmare. It's affected our health and all the family particularly Uncle Fester, who's found it very stressful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a police constable here, and I, I, no disrespect to police, my father was a cop for 31 years, but this guy has got community cop written all over his face. <laughs> Vandals have done that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you work at Sellafield in the 1960s, 70s or 80s? Were you by chance in the job of disposing of radioactive material? If so, the owners of Britain's nuclear waste dump would very much like to hear from you. They want you to tell them what you dumped and where you put it. <laughs> Can you prove to us that you worked at Sellafield, yes? <laughs> Are there dolphins there? <laughs> Uh, and on that, we must leave it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much indeed for coming. Huge round of applause for our special guests today, Carrie Quinlan and Fred McCauley. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the festival from Andre and myself. See you later. Farewell. Bye now.